All right, um, so I can't believe I haven't done this yet, but um, we're going to be taking a look at my PS3 games today, uh, my collection. So without further ado, we've got a lot to get through here, so let's get started. Great, we're off to a great start. <laughs> um, the Smurfs too. I got this originally for my niece because she loved the Smurfs movies when they came out. And um, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll just get the Smurfs game, something for us to play. Um, basically... It's like a really low budget new Super Mario Brothers Wii <laughs> kind of thing. Um, it's not okay. It's it's not the best game, but it's I mean it's all right I guess. <laughs> so we'll just leave that over there. Um, we've got Batman Batman Arkham Asylum. Um, so yeah, Batman Arkham Asylum is probably my favorite Batman game. Uh, I didn't really like Arkham City that much. I don't really like the whole open world aspect. I like the more linear sort of um, gameplay. So Arkham Asylum is probably my favorite, yeah. Um, Silent Hill Homecoming. This game is as creepy as shit. Like, um, the, the controls on that probably haven't aged too well. Um, it's a bit clunky, but... Um, other than that, it's actually a really, really cool game. Very scary. Um, so, yeah, highly recommend it. If you love horror games, it's one of the best. So, yeah, it's pretty scary. <laughs> um, House of the Dead Overkill Extended Cut. I love this game. My God, I wish Sega would do a sequel to this. Um, it is jam-packed full of gore coarse language and like sexual themes and it's just oh it's just amazing it's like the honestly the best uh on rail shooter you could possibly ask for um so yeah it's uh i've got the nintendo wii version of this uh house of the dead but it didn't come with uh a couple of levels because i don't think nintendo would have let um sega put those in there so this one here is like pretty much it's the definitive way to play it basically and they've redone all the graphics to be all high definition and that and uh yeah it looks beautiful and it plays great battlefield 3 uh <laughs> i've had a lot of fun with this over the years uh with my good friend uh baron waffles <laughs> we'll just call him that's his username uh, yeah, I play that with him quite a bit, and uh, yeah, we still play it even to this day, it's still online, so yeah, highly recommend this. A lot of people are still playing this online too, guys, so um, if you got a PS3 and Battlefield 3, fire it up, because, I don't know, I just like, um, Waffles and I like this better, because, um, the, than the uh, sort of other ports of it, because, well, Battlefield 4 especially, um, because there's hardly anyone... Uh, they don't have as many players online it's not as cluttered and chaotic you might like that but there's not really that much room for strategy so we find like this is like the perfect amount of players um so yeah love battlefield three and four catherine um i played this right to the end it's a very weird game i'm not like a massive anime fan or anything but um this was really cool uh very interesting story uh, very weird, uh, <laughs> yeah, like most anime stuff is, so yeah, that's all i got to really say about that one. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil 6, now, I actually really like this game, <laughs> honestly, I'd say it's one of the best, um, more modern ones for that time, um, I didn't really think 5 was all that great, it's a bit too action-y, I like the sort of more horror sort of Resident Evil, uh, zero, one, two, and, uh, yeah, I don't really, I don't think I've played three. I played three on the, um, the PS4, the remake. It was quite good, but yeah. Um, I actually really like this one. It's quite good. It's got co-op in it. Um, there's three different sort of campaigns you can play as like Leon, uh, Chris, and just like pretty much everybody. So yeah, I highly recommend that. There's a lot of hours to be spent in this game. So yeah, very cool. Quite cinematic, actually. Um, Battlefield 4, I basically would just say exactly what I said with Battlefield 3. Um, 
it's still online. People still play it. It's an absolute blast. Um, not as many people online on the PS3 version um, it allowed in the servers as there is in like PC or um, PS4. But again, it's uh, less chaotic and I like that. Little Big Planet 2. Um, Got to be honest, I haven't really spent a lot of time with this one. I was kind of Little Big Planeted out um, by the first one. There was just so much stuff involved in it, and uh, I just it just blew my mind. So when number two came out, I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't really know too much sort of about it. Um, but yeah, it's they are fun little games if you got kids or whatever. Um, then like I'm guessing more older children would probably appreciate this. As you can essentially make a game within a game. So, yeah. Or you can just play as, like, little fun platformer and stuff. So, yeah. It's uh, it's for it's an acquired taste, really. Uh, for me, I'm, you know, I'm big on game design and stuff. Uh, I use Game Maker <laughs> to make my games. So, that's all I really need when it comes to stuff like this. I love it because it gets people's creative juices flowing. And that's all great and everything. But, yeah. Um, I'll stick to... <laughs> I tried and true, but yeah, highly recommend uh, the Little Big Planet games. They're quite good. Arkham City, yeah, basically open world. Didn't like it as much. Um, the the uh, cinematic scenes are really good in it, but yeah, other than that, it's uh, not my favorite one. The Darkness, or the, yeah, The Darkness Two. I haven't played The Darkness One. This was really weird. Um, very uh interesting sort of game you've got one sort of like demon thing on the shoulder and then there's another one on this side one of them grabs um people and the other one like eats them or you know <laughs> like slashes at them or whatever um so it's quite cool um very interesting sort of gameplay uh, i think i remember the opening cutscene of this being really fucking brutal that's probably why it's got a bloody uh graphic violence 18 <laughs> restricted 18 thing on it so I'm guessing in the States or whatever, it'd be like 15. Oh yeah, MA15. Yeah. Interesting. Um, the Last of Us for PS3. Yeah, this is the first time I played it and it's still a bloody good game. Uh, I love the story and everything about it, but we won't talk about the second one. Because <laughs> this is the PS3 we're talking about here. Silent Hill Downpour, um, I didn't like this one as much, I actually liked Homecoming better, but um, this is good in its own right, uh, it's just good to see a modern-esque Silent Hill game, and uh, man, I love I love the Silent Hill games, I wish there was a more modern one, but um, they're, yeah, I, I don't think they'll make them anymore, <laughs> unfortunately, because yeah, these were great, uh, very scary, uh, this one wasn't as scary, I feel like they kind of missed that boat. It's sort of... Um, I think Homecoming definitely got that atmosphere better. But yeah. The one thing annoying thing in this was... Um, there's this thing called The Void and it follows you. And um, basically in your first time playing you have no idea where the fuck to go. And it's it's constantly behind your character. And um, as he's running he's... If he, if he gets sucked into the void he dies. So it's like where do I go? And then you cornered yourself and then you get end up getting sucked in by the stupid void. So... Yeah, screw it. It's it's not the best game, but it's not the worst. It's still worth a play, though. Definitely try it if you can get your hands on it. Um, Resistance Two, um, haven't played it yet. <laughs> haven't even installed it to my PlayStation. I don't think yet. Um, I originally played the Resistance Three. Uh, my friend Baron Waffles actually introduced me to. That was my first introduction to the PS3. Actually, was Resistance Three. We played that co-op and um, loved it. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to... When I got my PS3, I got a copy of Resistance 3. And uh, I ended up just buying the other ones later on. Which This one, I thought I'd play through them in chronological order. Um, haven't quite finished the first one yet, I don't think. It's quite a big game, actually. And this one here, I haven't played at all. So, yeah, look forward to getting into this one day. It looks cool. And the weapons are really awesome in these games. <laughs> Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway. This was quite cool. Um, it came with a, a comic and a, a Matt Baker figurine, which broke as soon as you got it out of the packet. <laughs> Me and my friend Waffles had a good laugh about that because, uh, 
yeah, it was just real cheap crap. Um, but nonetheless, the game is really good. The comic is quite cool too. That come that came with it. Um, yeah, that this game's good. The the first one, uh, Brothers in Arms, uh, Road to Hill Thirty was great. Um, and then Earned in Blood, I don't have too much experience with, but this one um, was actually quite cool as well. So I wish it was still online because it was pretty pretty awesome. You could do some pretty neat stuff. Uh, just basically command troops. It sort of broke it up from the regular first-person shooter because you had uh, little troop dudes to order around and that. So it was quite cool. Tell them to shoot or wait there or whatever. Hitman. Um, Hitman Absolution, rather. Um, this one is actually quite good. I got the professional edition um, when it came out. So, I mean, I don't know what the hell that entails. I think it just came with like a uh, concept art book. And that's basically it. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of fun being had with this one. It's one of the the better Hitman games. So if you can get your hands on this one cheap, I highly recommend that too. Um, yeah. It's quite neat actually. He's changed his look a little bit uh, from the more modern ones. I kind of like his look in this one a bit better because he looks more old and like, you know, uh, sort of haggard. Because he has been through some shit. So, um, but the more modern ones, yeah, he does. Look, he just looks a lot more younger for some reason. Maybe because it's a remake. That's probably why they're, they're like rebooting the franchise. Beyond Two Souls, Alan Page and William Willem Dafoe. I always say William. Um, yeah, uh, this was pretty cool. Um, one of those sort of cinematic story based games. Um, I actually loved this game when it came out um my sister and i really love are quite big on those kind of choose a path kind of um uh sort of story driven games i uh i like that and uh heavy rain was also good but we'll get to that in a minute <laughs> so yeah beyond two souls it's uh there's uh when you're controlling the spirit it can be a bit sort of overwhelming because it's quite blurry the vision and uh yeah it's a bit of a pain in the butt sometimes but yeah it's it's all right it's a nice it's an okay game <laughs> skyrim uh i need to get back into this actually this was quite fun um yeah i used to have oblivion uh, my, one of my biggest gaming regrets was getting rid of my original xbox with 80 games just maybe a bit over 80 probably 84 i think it was um i think i kept four of them though so yeah um well, I kept a couple at least. Um, when he, when the Xbox 360 came out, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll just uh, you know, I'll trade it all in. I was just young and stupid, and I had all the Grand Theft Autos. I had um, you know Desert Storm and all that shit, and like all these awesome ass games for the time. And I traded them all in for one console, one shitty console, and one game. I mean the. <laughs> the the 360 is not shit don't get me wrong there's some pretty good games on it but um my one fucked out after a while so i was like okay uh what do i do i gotta send it away to microsoft they fix it and then i was like well i gotta you know wait well i can't play grand theft auto uh 4 or whatever it was at the time um on the 360 so i'll buy another one i bought an xbox 360 elite and um when I, I ended up, that was all good. And then I get my old Xbox back and it returns. And I'm like, oh, cool. I got two Xboxes. Could do like Saints Row lands and stuff. It was really fun. And then all of a sudden, the one that got fixed broke again. And then my Elite eventually broke. And I was like, oh, fuck. And then so I ended up um, getting a, was it an Xbox 360 Slim, I think it was. And uh, yeah. Oh, anyway, it was, I ended up getting rid of it. By then I was over it. I just... <laughs> Got rid of my Xbox 360 altogether. But I'd missed the hell out of that South Park uh, Let's Go Tower Defense game. That was great. Anyway, we're talking about Skyrim. Skyrim's pretty cool. Um, if you like open world games. Next. Little Big Planet. Pretty much said exactly what I said earlier. They're pretty good games. And uh, I spent quite a bit of time with this one, actually. It's really fun. They kind of overcomplicate them. Um... <laughs> And what like in Little Big Planet too, I don't really get it as much. Uh, uh, Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. Um, this is actually quite a good little compilation of Mega Drive games. Uh, some really good gems on here. So yeah, got Sonic uh, Sonic Three. Is it? Yeah, Sonic 
yeah, Sonic 3s, which you can't, like, I think uh, they had trouble porting that to the latest Sega collection, if I remember rightly, unless they just, like, didn't do it and then released it later as DLC or something. I don't know. But um, this is the definitive way to play. It's some really cool classics here. Um, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Um, this game's actually really cool. Sadly, no one plays it anymore online. Again, it's one of those games that everyone's forgotten. Fortnite will probably happen. Like, it'll happen one day to Fortnite, probably. Uh, when the latest thing comes out and a few generations down the track, no one's going to give a shit about it. And uh, you can't play that anymore. So everything you've spent on there is worth absolutely nothing. Um, so I don't really buy DLC stuff or, um, you know, just add-ons. The only time I do that is with Dead by Daylight, and that's to keep my sister happy because she loves that game. And I thought, oh, I'll buy her a new character or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> um, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare it's it's really cool very funny uh game when everyone's online but no one is now and uh yeah some really hilarious moments in it uh very fun little game so there's like a survival mode on it too which you can still play but um yeah it's it's a bit sad now no one plays it um sonic and sega all-stars racing i haven't played too much of this but from what i have played i really enjoyed it i my first introduction to a sonic racing game was uh, Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed, where the cars would transform into a boat or a plane or, a, you know, back into a car again. So it was really cool. Um, I love those games. Uh, Sega, what was it? Sonic, uh, Team Sonic Racing, the latest one, is very, very bare bones. Like, you go back and play this, and there's just so much more content. Um, even in uh, All-Stars Racing Transformed, uh that was that had so much more content it was just really exciting oops i bumped the camera um it had like alex kidd as an unlockable character so that was that had my approval because i love alex kidd um but yeah it's uh it's sad that team sonic racing is just not as good as uh these games here so yeah oh look alex kidd's on that one too oh, hang on eee. there he is <laughs> he's on his motorbike very cool. I haven't unlocked them yet. Uh, Ratchet and Clank uh, Nexus. I haven't played too much of this. I thought I'd finish them all in chronological order, but they get kind of hard to find your way around, and I get sort of over it because there's nothing worse than being lost in a game. I fucking hate it. And um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, into the next. Uh, yeah, I haven't played the Nexus one yet. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I spent a bit of time with this one, HD, uh, yeah, Classics HD, the Ratchet and Clank trilogy. Uh, I wanted to get the Jack and Daxter one too, but I don't think I'll get that. <laughs> uh, it's pretty, pretty hard to find now. Um, but yeah, uh, Ratchet and Clank, it's, it's an okay game if you can find your way around, but I get lost. So I don't know. I get kind of over it after a while. It gets to be pretty ho-hum. Uh... Ratchet and Clank All for One. This one was actually quite cool, if I remember. Is this... This isn't the one that's... Oh, no, this is the one you can play co-op with a friend. That was really cool. Um, yeah, basically, you just got to help each other out. It doesn't play as a traditional, like, uh, third-person shooter type thing as it was. Uh, this one's kind of like a... Oh, the camera's kind of stretched out, and both players are on screen at the same time. And you can, like use grapple hooks to like help each other out and get get each other across gaps and things it's a very interesting sort of gameplay um i quite like it it's not really a traditional ratchet and clank game but yeah i do i do enjoy it ratchet and clank q force I, this one's my favorite actually it's more like a tower defense game and i actually really really love it um i i finished it I spent a lot of time on this one. This one's probably the first one I finished. First Ratchet and Clank game I've ever finished, actually. Um, I can't remember if I finished all for one. I think maybe I have. I don't know. Anyway, good games. Worms Collection. <laughs> uh, if you like Worms games, then this is for you. Uh, it's very good. Um, Worms 1, and you got Worms uh, Ultimate Mayhem, which is a 3D one. If you... 
I know some people aren't too keen on the 3D ones, but I actually quite like that one. Um, Worms 2 Armageddon. That was the big one everyone loved. I didn't play too much of that back in the day, but yeah. Um, so this has got yeah, six bonus DLC packs in it. So that's really cool. I've just included it all in the one thing. Ideally, that's what you should do if you're a game designer just <laughs> um, or a game publisher. Put it all in the one packet so we can all buy it. Thank you. So, and DLC should definitely be an afterthought. Shouldn't be like a day one, there's DLC out for it. Like, come on, that's just greedy. Just give me everything in one pack so I can play the goddamn game. Uh, Dead Island, Game of the Year edition. Um, I haven't played too much of this one. Uh, I, I enjoyed what I did play, but um, I haven't played online with anyone. I've just played by myself. Apparently, when you're online with someone, that's... Oh, actually, that's a lie. I played with Waffles, actually. Um... Yeah, it was it was pretty fun. Um, from what I remember of it, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's okay. It's one of those grindy games where you just like your weapons don't do jack shit until like way later on, and you unlock more like better combinations of stuff. But yeah, I haven't really. I need to play this more actually. It's not really scary. <laughs> it's not supposed to be scary, but yeah, I like my scary games. Sacred Two. Um, this was a donation of my, from my friend, uh, Baron Waffles. Uh, he is absolutely awesome for, for giving me this. Um, it's a really fun game to play online with him. We have to do this again sometime if you're watching this, mate. Um, yeah, it was a really good game. I had to do, uh, another co-op thing. I don't know how you would explain it. It's been a while since I've played, but, uh, yeah, I remember it being really fun. <laughs> Anyway, on to the next one. Red Dead Redemption, Game of the Year edition. Um, this is really fun. Uh, if you're a fan of Red Dead Redemption, then chances are you've played this. Um, Undead Nightmare, this comes with. Um, absolutely wasted opportunity of not um, including Undead Nightmare in Red Dead 2. Why the heck would you not do this? It is the perfect game for something like this. But um, yeah, Red Dead 2 has just sadly been abandoned. I play the crap out of Red Dead 2, by the way, uh, online. Uh, I have weekly sort of gaming sessions with friends. So it's really cool to be able to uh, jam that out. But I've played with Waffles a couple of times on this. And um, yeah, we we had a lot of fun. <laughs> so uh, in some ways, the first game is better than the second. In other ways, the second game is better than the first. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> Resistance 3, I've already been through this. Uh, Waffles and I played the crap out of it. It's the first game I played, yada yada. <laughs> uh, Bayonetta. <laughs> this is the first time I played Bayonetta. I've got this on the Wii U as well. Um, I haven't finished it yet. It's quite a big game. Uh, it gets really freaking hard. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the second one. I thought I'd finish this first on the PS3 before I tackle it. Uh, the second one on the Wii U. Um, I've got the first one on the Wii U as well, but yeah, I don't. I just want to finish it on this first. Um, Uncharted Three: Drake's Deception. Uh, this was quite fun. I remember the multiplayer for this being quite cool too. Um, I don't think it would be operating anymore, but um, for a single player game, this was a damn good game. Um, so yeah. Uh, there's some really cool scenes in it. <laughs> Sorcery. This was a kind donation by a woman I used to work with called Lisa. Um, I used to work with her at a uh, New World supermarket <laughs> uh, in the produce section. And um, she had this floating around. And she's like, I don't use it. I don't play it or nothing. So you can have it. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And I had I had PlayStation Move, so I was like, oh, this is cool. I get to try it out. So it's quite unique. Um, I think it's kind of like Sony's answer to the Nintendo Wii uh, with the remote and things like that. Um, you use the remote to, like, cast spells. like um, So, yeah, the PlayStation Move controller, I should say. Um, <laughs> you'll need these. Yeah, so you definitely, you definitely need those or you can't play. It's um, it's a pretty good game though. I, I remember you could turn like the sheep into all these weird things. <laughs> you can turn, I think you can turn people into like 
like different things and stuff. It's real weird. Fun game. Oh yeah, I should hold this between finger and thumb actually. Ooh. Um <laughs> HD yeah, classics HD. Um, by the way, they ruined it. Um I haven't actually played a proper version of uh Silent Hill 3 yet. Um or two. Uh we finished Silent Hill 2 on here. Um and they've they've completely butchered it. They've taken the fog out, which was a big part of the game. They thought that that was a um, due to hardware restraints or something, and back in the day. So in the HD remaster, they just get rid of it. Well, HD, yeah, HD, uh, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I thought, oh boy, Silent Hill uh, two and three in one package, and I get this garbage, and it's terrible. So yeah, I don't recommend this. Stay away. <laughs> uh, the frame rate in Silent Hill three is absolutely atrocious. It's supposed to, like, when the monsters come along, they're supposed to catch you by surprise. But I noticed every time the game freaking starts um, getting real janky, um, that's when the zombie, the, not the zombies, the, the monsters are going to come out. So you kind of know, and it ruins the surprise, and it just, oh, it's garbage. Anyway. <laughs> Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, the worst Uncharted game ever. Um, but... It's for some reason it got like a whole bunch of sequels, which got better and they were really fun. So, yeah, you had to start somewhere. Um, so yeah, Drake's Fortune, yeah, it's, it's not bad. Um, <laughs> there are worse games, at least it was a fully functional game and it actually, you know, didn't bug out and glitch or just completely error out. Uh, so yeah, it's better than this crap anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, um, <laughs> this is, uh, where Castlevania originally started, no, um, so Castlevania Lords of Shadow, it's, it wasn't, it's not a traditional Castlevania game, um, I don't really like it that much, it's alright, but yeah, it's kind of more, um, Shadow of the Colossus or whatever it is, um, <laughs> pretty much, yeah, if you've heard of that. You just climb up giant monsters and like fight them and shit. It's it's kind of like that. There's a lot of climbing in this game. It's kind of like Uncharted. But yeah. <laughs> Might as well call it Uncharted Lords of Shadow or something. Time Crisis Raising Storm. Uh, this one is a PlayStation Move game. Uh, it is quite fun. It came with, it came with Time Crisis 4. And Dead Storm Pirates, which those games are incredibly fun. Uh, the the original game, Time Crisis: Raising Storm, is absolute trash. But if you want to like these two gems, you have to just bite the bullet, so to speak. Um, so yeah, uh, these are those two are great. <laughs> Review for Time Crisis Four and uh, Dead Storm Pirates is yay, and for Time Crisis: Raising Storm is nay. Um, but yeah, thirty four dollars. Who the hell is going to complain about it? Um, iPad and friends. <laughs> uh, I got this for my niece. Um, it's kind of a cute game. So it works with the, um, the eye toy thing, the, the camera and the, uh, the remote thing. You can like wash your pet with like shampoo it and stuff, uh, feed it. Um, you can play with it and stuff. It's, it's quite a fun game. Uh, good game for kids. Adults will get bored quickly, and you can unlock various different things for your pet and stuff, which is quite neat. <laughs> Syndicate, uh, another generous generation from my friend Baron Waffles. Um, he got this for me uh, because he enjoyed playing it with another friend online, and uh, it's a really fun game. You can play, I think, four players co-op online, and... Uh, yeah, really, really awesome. Really um, good graphics for the time period too. You look at a game like this and you look at the PS4 and it really hasn't evolved, or the PS5 now rather, um, and the graphics really haven't evolved all that much better. Um, this game looks fantastic. I have to do some gameplay footage of this. I think I did once. I think I recorded an uh, online gameplay session, but um, I have to do some more. It was very fun. Love Syndicate. I've got the uh, one for Sega Mega Drive 2, and <laughs> that's, uh, I tell you, that one, this new one's come a long way, so, um, Disney Infinity 2.0, 
Um, I got obsessed with this <laughs> this game. I was uh, I love making levels and things like that. You can basically make your own game within the game. Um, with each version of it, Disney knew what they were doing with this. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, it was discontinued. I still have all my figurines from Disney Infinity 1.0 and 2.0, and uh, I started collecting for 3.0. Um, but yeah, eventually it got all like shut down. You can still use your figurines and stuff, but you can't upload levels and play other levels that other people have uploaded and things, which sucks because you know. This was awesome. I was waiting for like some more um, Disney classics to be released as um, figurines. Uh, we got Aladdin. Um, we were going to get Baloo. I think we got Baloo from Jungle Book. But I wanted Mowgli because it would be freaking awesome. Um, take me back to the old uh, Sega Mega Drive. There's a fly. Get out of it. Um, old Sega Mega Drive um, uh, era where we got a Jungle Book game. So yeah. Resistance Fall of Man, uh, this is the one I've been playing quite a bit of. Um, in comparison to the third, obviously it's um, not as like good, but it's still a fun game. Uh, very good, solid first-person shooter, so highly recommend it. Disney Infinity 1, I think it was just called, yeah, Disney Infinity, this one. Um, yeah, tons of hours spent with my niece. Um which is, you know, another sort of game that her and I really bonded over. This videos on this channel, actually, of her and I, I might have put made them private now, but her and I playing this uh, game, and, um, yeah, like, we just spent so much time in it. She loved just mucking around and getting horses and putting them in pens and stuff, and, like, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Uh, Ghostbusters the video game. This game is still really awesome. I think it got an HD remaster or something for the PS4. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't know nothing about that. I, I just played this and I really loved it. Um, very fun game. Yeah, there we go. I just readjust that focus. Yeah, very cool. Um, players Ghostbusters blasting ghosts and capturing them. So yeah, you could play one to four players online. I think the Wii version of this game, uh, graphically it's it's um, not as good uh, for the Wii, obviously, but it's um, it, you can play two player co op on the same screen, which is really neat. So yeah, that might be something to consider if you got um, both. Just just grab a copy of this game anyway. It's fantastic for whatever console you have. Heavy Rain, a really cool story-driven game. I might have to do a playthrough of this as well, but then I was talking earlier in a vlog um, about a Twitch channel, and I'm thinking maybe I should do it through there because people get sick of gameplay shit on my YouTube channel. But even though it's I am Video James, but I don't know. I just don't know what people will tolerate and what they won't because it's sort of like I do pol politics, I do... Um, I do, you know, drawing and animation and game design and all that stuff. And I also do a lot of gameplay stuff because there's just really nothing to really do videos about. So I just play games uh, mostly now. So, um, yeah. Uh, and I work on my game quest for K9, of course. But, yeah. Um, so I might do a playthrough of this on YouTube or um, on Twitch. I don't know. I think maybe I'll do it on YouTube because I don't, last time I tried to stream on Twitch... Uh, the, the connection was terrible. It was very choppy. Um, so we've got uh, Street Fighter 4 <laughs> Arcade Edition. Uh, I've got this for PS4 as well. Very fun game uh, if you love your Street Fighters. It's probably one of the best uh, 3D Street Fighter games that I've played. In fact, it's the only <laughs> 3D Street Fighter game I've played. I think number 5 is 3D as well, but yeah. Um, I'm not an expert or anything. I did have a sour moment with the one on PS4 where um, I kept getting my ass beat by this guy again and again. And I was like, oh, fuck, you know, I just took it like a champ. And then as soon as I started fighting back and getting good, he just fucking quits on me. He like, he actually just quits the match as I'm beating the shit out of him. I'm like, what, dude? That's so fucking salty, eh? Anyway, um, it's pretty sad. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty fun game. 
Operation Flashpoint Red River. Uh, there's another one called just Operation Flashpoint, I think. Um, uh, I still have to get that game. Red River is pretty fun. Uh, me and Waffles have had a good time with this. Uh, we've done a lot of uh, co-op missions and things like that. It's very fun. Getting near the end now. <laughs> uh, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. The, I actually love this one. This one's... Number two was kind of dog crap, but this one is where it really started to pick up the pace and be like, wow, this is a, this is more than just a game. It's like a cinematic experience, like an interactive cinematic experience. And uh, it was, it was really good. I actually really love this game. So Uncharted 2 is probably my favorite, even still today, um, it, even with like number four and stuff, it's still my favorite. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Rayman Origins, I love this game. Four-player co-op on the same screen, just an awesome, fun platformer. You just slap the crap out of each other or slap the crap out of enemies on screen. <laughs> Look, at, He's like <clears throat> running away from that. Um, yeah, it's, uh, oh, it's very fun. Uh, and I've got Rayman Legends on... Uh, oh, I've got the PS4 version as well, I think. Uh, I got that for free on PS Plus. But I've got the one for Wii U, and that's a blast as well. Oh, what's that there? It's just like a sticky thing with some lint on it. Yuck. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that is <laughs> uh, Rayman Origins. And last but not least, we have South Park The Stick of Truth. I got the Grand Wizard Edition, and that's why it's got this not to be sold separately. But, you know, chances are if I sell my collection, which I never probably will do... Because I'm a video game hoarder, um, <laughs> then I will probably sell this along with it. But yeah, very fun game. It's like playing an episode of the show, uh, much like uh, the Fractured Butthole as well. Um, that is another fantastic South Park game, and I look forward to any future South Park games coming out. Um, I really do miss Let's Go Tower Defense. I wish to hell the South Park guys would <laughs> would. Uh, I don't know, even the, the company that made it, was it Ubisoft? No, it wasn't Ubisoft. Ubisoft made this. Um, anyway, I just want another, I want the uh, <laughs> South Park Tower Defense. I want the South Park Tower Defense game, goddammit. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that is my collection. Uh, but wait, there's more. So I thought I'd just take this opportunity to show off my PSP collection because I don't normally get it out at all to play um these days so yeah here it goes um so this here is silent hill shattered memories uh this was another game purchased by baron waffles my mate um i'm pretty sure i reimbursed him for this one though um and yeah he's like he usually just comes up and just shouts me stuff i really appreciate it like i've said um i actually purchased a copy of um battlefield 4 and stuff for him uh, when it came out so you know um <laughs> we, we kind of we page we help each other out sort of thing um just yeah shout each other games every now and again so that's really cool um just uh, just in case i sound like a freeloading asshole <laughs> um yeah so yeah silent hill shared memories uh scones has played this and she really loved it uh, i haven't had the chance yet she reckoned it's quite scary so that's cool um Silent Hill Origins, uh, my sister's played this as well, uh, I have not yet, I have not had the balls, <laughs> but I will one day, I'm sure, um, the PSP is such an underrated console, very fun, so yeah, uh, I'm glad to have both the Silent Hills for that, I'm pretty sure Shattered Memories got a, um, release for the Wii, and, um, I remember seeing a copy of it in EB Games years ago, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get that, and I went back to get it, and it wasn't there. So that's why I was like, hey, Waffles, could you, like, nab this for me off your website or whatever, and I'll um, I'll, I'll reimburse you. And he's like, oh, yeah, and that's <laughs> that's what happened. So, um, yeah, really cool to have. Um, Little Big Planets. Uh, this one is a pain in my ass. There's a big bug in it that... Um, it doesn't crash the game. There's something really annoying. I think it doesn't save and you'll make a level or something and it won't save. I can't remember. There's something really annoying about it. And I was real pissed because I had the PS3 version as well. And I was like, oh, you know, I'd love to be able to um, sort of 
just make levels and stuff on the fly with the handheld version and that and it just oh there's just a problem with it it's a really bad bug i'm hoping they patched it out but because my psp is hacked now i'll never know so uh, i'll never be able to download an update but yeah pretty cool uh the simpsons game uh this i have to get for ps3 as well this was absolutely fantastic a really good simpsons game for a change <laughs> although um the simpsons um uh what was it oh shit Oh, it wasn't Bart's Nightmare, it was something else. I can't remember what it was called. But yeah, it was a really fun game for the Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis. Um, and you could play as... Um, I can't remember what it was called, damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, you could play... Yeah, you could drive a motorbike as Bart. Um, you could throw tomatoes, things like that. There's like all these different sort of games in one. That was a fun Simpsons game. But this one's really cool. Like uh, 3D, kind of like just straight out of the show kind of thing. Very fun. Jack and Daxter, The Lost Frontier. Um, this was really cool from what I've played of it. I need to sort of jam it out more. I need to play some PSP, I think. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> so, yeah, um, very fun. Uh, love Jack and Daxter. I used to, I'm pretty sure I had it on PS2. Uh, I had all the Jack and Daxters, and I ended up selling them um, and getting rid of my PS2 to get a ps3 so but yeah uh no regrets i love my ps3 collection um so yeah jack and daxter obviously fantastic game um oops <laughs> stack those up probably uh parappa the rapper <laughs> this game's a lot of fun uh my friend rob and i used to play it and um get pretty frustrated because the buttons the combos are just insane uh this one's really good there's one for ps4 i think and uh, I was being tempted to buy it. If you guys have got it and you've played it and you like it, let me know. Um, or let me know if you don't like it because um, I might purchase it still. I don't know if anyone's played it or enjoyed it. So, <laughs> um, but, yeah, it might be just more of the same maybe. If it's more of the same, I'll buy it because I love this game um, as long as it's not exactly the same. Here we have Medieval Resurrection. This was a really good port of Medieval. Um it's as humorous as always fantastic game um very very fun uh if, i've still got to play through the uh the more recent one released on ps4 i've been playing a bit of that and uh yeah it's a blast i have never finished it but um i first played medieval on ps1 back in the day and uh, I've got PS, I've got uh, the PS1 version of medieval 2 i'm wondering if they'll ever do a medieval 2 remaster but I highly doubt it, um, but yeah, I'll have to do a playthrough of that sometime as well, um, if anyone's interested. Flat Out Head On, this is basically a handheld version of Flat Out Ultimate Carnage, and that game is just awesome. Um, so it's really cool to have a handheld version of it. You can't really get this um, just anywhere, there goes a code number there, I don't know what that is, product code is it? Um, yeah, you can't just get it anywhere. It's actually quite hard to find. Well, for me, it was. I've never seen it again. Um, but yeah, basically just flat out Ultimate Carnage, but handheld. Same tracks and everything. Um, I think they've even got the same replay thing. Um, maybe that's the one thing that they don't have. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, anyway, really good game. Uh, as fun as always, flat out is fantastic. Um if you want a really cool game like Flat Out, go buy Wreckfest for PS4 or Xbox One. Uh, very fun. The hours are fun just crashing cars and having a really good time. Um, we have <laughs> Ratchet & Clank Size Matters. Um, this is the only Platinum game I own. Um, yeah, Ratchet & Clank. I find this... Yeah, these Ratchet & Clank games, I'm like... I don't know. They're good games. I shouldn't hate them. And I don't hate them. But I just find them quite frustrating as all. Um, yeah, they're cool, but I just find them frustrating in the sense that I don't know where the hell I'm going and uh, there's not really much clarity and I hate getting lost in games. So yeah, it, it's okay. It's all right. I, I can see people spending a lot of time with this one if they like Ratchet and Clank, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know whether to recommend it or not. Ghostbusters, the video game, the PSP version. This is basically the Wii version. Um, I think they've even used the same characters, sort of models, on the front cover. 
Um, see, they're more simplified than the uh, than the other version of it. Where is it? Oh, is it Ghostbusters? There it is. See, they're more. They've got the uh, more cartoony look for the PSP version as opposed to the realistic, photorealistic version on the PS3 version. So yeah, quite cool. Um, I like having both versions. I've got the Wii version of this as well. So I own three copies of Ghostbusters, the video game. Um, not to mention that atrocious one for the Sega Master System. But yes, um, that is all my PSP games. So... I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, if you're still watching right now, because we've gone through a lot. So, um, yeah, cheers for that. And um, I hope you enjoyed looking at my PS3 and PSP collection. Catch us later. Uh, Resident Evil Resurrection. <laughs> this was a really cool port of... Um, re uh, so not missing... Bleh! Fuck. Okay. <laughs> It's medieval resurrection for a start, James. Um, so I'm getting a bit tired now. I've been recording for ages with this. Um, medieval resurrection. Uh, this is a very good port of medieval.